Namaste everyone, today I want to bring you a class to do in the end of the day when your body is already warm. So we will do just a few movements to warm our body, to prepare the body for the practice. It will be a dynamic practice, it's nice to do in the sunset. So just move your arms, your shoulder blades, your neck and then we will start our practice. So come to the top of the mat, leave one foot apart, inhale, bring your arms up, exhale all the way down. Bring your right leg to the back of the mat, knee on the floor, open your chest. Now bring your left leg to the back of the mat. We are in Adho Mukha Shvasana, that one facing dog. Stay here for a few breaths. Bring your knees, your chest and your shin on the floor. Slide your chest on the floor, add up, four arms on the floor and look up. We are in the exfinge pose, extend your spine, lift your buttocks up and come back to Adho Mukha Shvasana, the downward facing dog. It's always a good asana to recover. Lift your right leg up, open your hips and now bring your right foot close to your hands. If you cannot, just help with your hands. Left knee on the floor, open your chest, look front. Bring your left leg to the front, look to the space between your legs and now with an inhalation bring your arms up and to your chest. One round of our Surya Namaskara or Sun Salutation. Let's do now with the left leg. Inhale, look up, bring your arms back, exhale all the way down. Now bring your left leg to the back of the mat, knee on the floor, open your chest, look front. Inhale, bring your both legs to the back of the mat. And we are again in our Dawan facing dog. You can walk on the side and now bring the weight of your body to your arms, knees on the floor, chest and chin. Slide your chest and now we come to our normal Pujangasana or Cobra pose. So you lift your chest, your belly, the arms are close to the body and the elbows are flexed. Now again, lift your buttocks up, tuck your toes in and come back to our triangle, Adho Mukha Shvasana, legs and back make like a triangle. Lift your left leg up, open your hips, bring your heel close to your buttocks and now with balance, bring your left foot close to your hands, in between your hands, right knee on the floor, open your chest and look front, Ashwa Shanchalanasana. Breathe through your nose and when you're ready, lift your knee and bring your right leg to the front, hands on the floor if you can reach the floor or if you cannot, you can leave your hands in your shin bones, spine straight. Just find what is more comfortable for you. Now, with an inhalation, bring your arms up, 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 bend your spine, and exhale, bring your hands to your chest. Good job. Now we will do two more Surya Namaskara, but with variations. Inhale, bring your arms up, exhale all the way down hands on the floor or in your shin bone. Inhale, look up and bring your right leg to the floor, knee on the floor, open your chest. Now with an inhalation, bring your left leg to the back. That one facing dog. Bring the weight of your body to your arms and turn your body to one side. Lift the opposite arm 
up and look to your arm. We will do the same to the left side. Bring the weight of the body to your left side and stay in this side planche. Good, come back to the center, knees on the floor, chest and chin. Now slide your chest in the mat. Extend your both arms to the top of your head, chin on the floor. And now lift your left leg up and your right arm up. Ardo Shanchalabhasana, the half locust. Now inhale, bring your right leg up and your left arm up. Good job. Exhale down. Inhale, lift your both arms and your both legs up. Stay, stay, stay. Exhale down. Try to bring your legs as much high as possible. Inhale up. Look front. This is a really good asana for your lower back. And we will do three times. Inhale, look up. Arms and legs up. Roll the mus muscles of your buttocks inward so you can bring your legs higher. Inhale, lift your chest up, your buttocks up. Tuck your toes and come back to our Dawan facing dog. Raise your right leg to your back, open your hips. And now with balance, bring your foot close to your hands, in the between your hands. Turn your left foot, bring your arms up. We are in our warrior one, Virabhadrasana one, look front. And now turn your body to the side, warrior two. Your right leg is in 90 degrees angle. Now bring your arm to your leg and the left arm go in line with your ear, extended in the top of your head and stay here. All these asanas are really good for your legs. Now extend your right leg Extend your both arms, both arms in line. And we are in our Trikonasana, the triangle pose. Again, bend your knee. Bring your hands to the floor. Your left leg close to your right leg. Look in the space between your legs. Stay here, breathe. And now with an inhalation, bring your arms up. Bend your upper spine and exhale, bring your hands to your chest. Good job. Stay here for a few breaths. Inhale, bring your arms up, bend your upper spine, exhale all the way down. Now bring your left leg to the back of the mat, knee on the floor. Open your chest, look front, spine straight, right leg is in 90 degrees angle. Now bring your both legs to the back, stay here, walk on the side. Now bring the weight of your body to your arms. And now bring your knees, your chest and your shin to the floor. Slide your chest. Bring your arms to the back, close to your buttocks, interlock your fingers. And now inhale, bring your arms and your chest up. Sarpasana. Really good asana for your neck. Again, inhale arms and chest up. You will feel the extension of your shoulders, shoulder blades and neck in this asana. Now bring your heels close to your buttocks, hold your ankles with your hands, all the fingers together. And now with an inhalation, lift your chest up, just the chest, not the legs. Exhale down. Now again, inhale, lift your legs up, just the legs, not the chest. We are preparing Dhanurasana, our bow pose. Now inhale, bring your chest and your legs up. Try to bring your legs as much higher as possible. You can massage your abdominal muscles, rolling your belly to the front and to the back. 
with an exhalation, bring our chest and your legs to the floor. Arms close to the chest, open your chest in our Bhujangasana. Lift your buttocks up and come back to Adho Mukha Shavasana. Raise your left leg up, open your hips, heels close to the buttocks and bring your left foot close to your hands. Raise your arms up, the right leg is extended. Open now your chest to the sides. In our warrior two, bring your left arm to your left leg. Extend your right arm to the top of your head and look in line with your right arm. Try to open your legs as much as possible and to keep your left leg in 90 degrees angle. Now extend your left leg Hold your shin bone, open your chest, extend both sides of your trunk, arms in line, look to your upper hand and try to bring your both hips to the front, buttocks front. Now bend your knee, turn your body to the front, hands on the floor and bring your right leg close to the left in the front of the mat. Bring your head close to your knees, hands on the floor and now bend your elbows and hold the opposite elbow with the hand. Turn your body to one side and to other. It will help you to extend more your spine and stay here for a few breaths. Extend your legs, legs are totally extended, don't bend the knees and extend your spine. Inhale, lift your arms up, bend your upper back, look to your hands and exhale, bring your hands to your chest. Open your feet, open your hands and stay here for a few breaths feeling the energy flowing through your entire body. Now I invite you to lie down on your back. Bend your right leg, bring your foot close to your knee. Bend your leg to the left side and look to the right side. Universal twist asana, really important to gain space between your vertebras in our spine is really, really important asana. Do it just once per class, but try to do it for one minute if you can. Inhale, come back to the center, release the leg. Now with the same with the left leg, left foot close to the, the right knee. Bring the left foot to the right side and look to the left side and stay. Try to keep both shoulder blades on the floor. Don't lift your shoulders, don't lift your shoulder blades. Every time you exhale, you try to bring the leg closer to the floor. Try to do this asana every practice. It's really important for the youth and health of your spine. Inhale, come back to the center, extend your leg. Extend your arms to the top of your head. Inhale and extend your arms and your legs. Extend, extend, exhale, relax. Now bring your arms close to your body, the palm of your hands are looking up, heels are looking each other, the toes are looking apart, and we are starting to prepare to our Shavasana. Relax the top of your head, your forehead, your eyebrows, between your eyebrows, relax your nose, your upper lip. Relax your teeth, your tongue, the entire mouth. Relax your lower lip, your shin, your throat, your collarbone. Relax your chest, your rib cage, your belly, your pelvis. Relax your upper legs, your knees 
your lower legs, your feet, your toes, the sole of your feet, your ankles, the back of your lower legs, the back of your knees, relax the back of your upper legs, relax your buttocks, your lower back, your middle back, your shoulder blades, your shoulders, the back of your neck, the back of your head, relax your upper arms, your elbows, your forearms, your hands, your fingers, the entire body is relaxed and stay here for five minutes if you can in Shavasana the corpus pose when we give to the body the opportunity to come back to its normal when you're ready start to move your hands and your feet bend your knees bring your knees close to your chest stay here for a few breaths even with your eyes closed you can bend your body to one side and to other slowly massaging your lower back and when you are ready, bring your body to one side and stay there for a few breaths. And then with the help of your upper hand, lift your body up and come to a sitting posture. Roll your shoulders, twist your body to one side and to other. Bring your hands close to your chest and take this moment feel gratitude to yourself for this practice. Namaste. See you soon.